This is R.D. Sharma Solutions, Class 11, Chapter Number 1, Sets Exercise 1.3. Now the question goes like this, that which of the following are examples of empty set? The first is, the first one is set of all even natural numbers divisible by 5. So we have certain numbers like uh, 10, 20, so they are divisible by 5, 5 is dividing them, so this set is not empty, it has uh, various values. The second part is set of all even prime numbers, even prime numbers, so we have number 2 which is the only even prime number that exists in mathematics, so it is also, this set is also not empty, it has 2 in it. Next is x is such that x square minus 2 equal to 0 and x is a rational. Question is x square minus equal to x square minus 2 equal to 0 and x is a rational. This is a question. So what is the answer? See the question says x square minus 2 is equal to 0. That means x square is equal to 2. That is x equal to plus minus under root 2. But we know that plus minus under root 2 is an irrational number. Uh, this is an irrational number. But the question is saying the set in the question is saving, saying rational number. So this set will be an empty set. Next one is uh, x is such that x is a natural number and x is less than 8 and simultaneously x is greater than 12. Is it possible? Any number say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Any number has to be below 8 and above 12 at the same time which is not possible. So this will be an empty set. Next one is x is such that x is a point common to any two parallel lines. You see two lines like uh, the railway tracks, they would never meet. They will just go like this. They will never meet. That means they will not have any kind of intersection point. So this set will not be having anything. So it's, it will be an empty set. The second question is which of the following sets are finite and which are infinite? First one is set of concentric circle in a plane. So if this is a center, this is a circle, this is a circle, this, these are concentric circles. And when these are concentric circles, that means there are infinite number of concentric circles. So there, there is no finite one, they are infinite. You can just change the radius and this will go infinite. So this set is infinite. Next one is set of letters of the English alphabet. So we know that it starts from A goes up to Z. So these are 26, 26 letters of English alphabet. Right? So set of letters of the English alphabet, they are finite. You can count it. Third one. The question is X belongs to N such that X is greater than 5. So when you say X is greater than 5, you start with 5 because it is a natural number, then you go to 6 and then you have left this open ended. That means it, it can go up to infinite, in, infinity. We don't have, we, 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 can, uh, we can't count it, it's uncountable. This is an infinite set. The next one is finite. How? The question is x belongs to n and x is less than 200. The question is x is less than 200. So we start because it is a natural number. We start with n, 1, 2 like this and goes up to 199. So this is a finite set. Next one is x belongs to z. z. This z is integers. It identifies, indicates the integer and x is less than 5. So again when you start with 5, this is, has to be less than 5. So you, you say minus 4, minus 3, oh sorry, 5, 4, 3, 5 is not inclusive, 4, 3, 2, 1, then 0, minus 1. So now this side is open ended. That means it can go up to infinite. So this is again an infinite series or you can say this is an infinite set. Next is x belongs to R and x is between 0, 0 and 1. Even if the question would be like this 0 and 0 0.1 then also the answer would be infinite. Why? See 0 to 1 you can say 0 0.5 is in between. Somebody can say 0 0.11 is there. Somebody say 0.1111 will be there. 
So there are infinite numbers that can be between real numbers and different type of numbers which are between 0 and 1. So this is an infinite set, infinite set. Next one is, uh, which of the following sets are equal? Which, which of these sets are equal? So equal sets are those sets which have exactly same number of elements and exactly same elements. Means the number, the numbers should be same and they, the counting should also be same. That is how, you know, if the numbers are same, that means the counting will be same. So A is given 1, 2, 3 and the B is given as X minus 1 whole square. So X minus 1 whole square means what? It is, it is x minus 1 into x minus 1 equal to 0. So, x is 1 and 1. So, the set will be only 1, right? We do not repeat it. So, it is 1. The third one is 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3. Now, here we do not repeat it. So, it will be 1, 2, 3. So, now if you see this one, that is C1 and A, they are equal. 1, 2, 3, and they, it also contains 1, 2, 3. When we take this one x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 and in this case if you see that when we solve it we can just factorize it like this x minus 1 and x square minus 5x plus 6 then it becomes x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 and this is equal to 0. So x will be equal to 1 x will be equal to 2 x will be equal to 3. So this set is also 1 2 3. So now we have one more set to be equal with a and c it is d. So, A, C, D, they are equal. Next is, are the following sets equal? So, we have first one as A as a reap. R, E, X is such that X is a letter in the word reap. So, R, E, A, P. Second one is, B one is, X is a letter in the word paper. So, P, A, P, E, R. So, we just... Uh, we just cancel one of them, okay, which is re repeated. So I'll just cancel this one and then we'll check it out. Next one is X is such that X is a letter in the word row. So R O P E, R O P E. So if you see here, we have R here, we have E here, we have A here and P here. So these two are exactly similar. But if you compare this with any of these, there is O, which is not either in this one or this one. Not no O here. So these two are exactly similar or you can say they are equal but this is not. So we say A and B are equal but C is not equal to them. Next one is from the sets, from this, uh, from the sets given below, pair the equivalent sets. Now the equivalent sets are those sets which have equal the counting, the counting of the elements should be same. For example, A is 1, 2, 3. A is 1, 2, 3. And so counting is 1, 2, 3, 3 elements. B is T, P, Q, R, S. So we have 5, 5, uh, the counting of the, the elements in the set is 5. Coming to C, it is alpha, beta and gamma. So alpha, beta, gamma, how many, how many content we have? 3. Again, D. D is A, E, I, O, U. So there are five, five elements. So B and D are equivalent and A and C are equivalent. Why? Because they have same number of elements. Next one is, uh, are the following pairs of sets equal? We have to give the reason. So first one is A, which is already given two, three. The second one is B is X is such that X is a solution for X square plus 5X plus 6. So X square plus 5X plus 6. So 6 can be written as 2 into 3. So X square plus 2X plus 3X plus 6. You take X common X plus 2. You take 3 common X plus 2. So you get X plus 3 X plus 2. And it is equal to 0. So X will be minus 3 and X will be equal to minus 2. From here minus 3 we here minus 2. So the set is minus 2 minus 3. So this is they are not they are not equal, but they are equivalent. They are not equal, but equivalent. So the question is, they are equal or not, you have to say, but they are not equal. They are though equal, equivalent. The next is, which is the second part of this question, that X is a letter of word wolf, W-O-L-F. 
And then we have uh, the B one. This is the A. B is X is such that X is a letter of the word follow. So we have follow. F O L L O. Why I'm writing it here? I'm going to cancel one O. I'm going to cancel one L. So it will be. Let me write F here. F, then O, then L, then W. So if you see, A and B are equal. So they are equal. Next one is uh, question seven. From the sets given below, select equal sets and equivalent sets. I'll just show you the set in the question. What is given? A, this B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. We have to find the equivalent and equal sets. So first is zero A. Second one is one, two, three, four. So let me uh, let me just uh, write the number of elements here also. So it is two. This is four. This is 4, 8, 12, it is 3. And now coming to D. Now these are just the jumbled up form of B. That is, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. If I just rearrange it, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, four elements. So B and D, they are equal. And they are equivalent also. Coming to E, E is 1, 0. F, 8, 4, 12. Now I am rearranging this F, 8, 4, 12. I am rearranging it to 4, 8, 12. And when I rearrange, I find it that it is equal. It is equal to C. It is equal to C. So F and C, they are equal and equivalent also. Coming to G, one, five, seven, eleven. So we don't have anyone, uh, you know, equal to them. But we'll just count the numbers also. So this is three. This is four. A B also is not uh, equivalent to anyone. So it is two. But uh, the thing is. That the counting is these two, these two. So these set C. First B and D are equal, F and C are equal. With this we have already dealt with. Now coming to the equivalency, this two and two, that is A and H are equivalent. Now coming to four, 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 that is B and D and G are equivalent. And then three, three, that is C and F are equivalent. Next question is. Which of the following sets are equal? Which of which one of the following sets are equal? So the question here is like this. First is x is such that x is x belongs to natural number and x is less than 3. x is less than 3. So natural number starts from 1 and it is 3, so 1 and 2 will be there. So this is first set. Second set is 1 and 2, it is already given in the question. Third set is 3, 1. Then we have uh, the D1, D, the question is like this. X is such that X belongs to N, natural number, and X is odd, and X is less than 5. So now we have to find out odd numbers which are below 5 and which are natural numbers. So 1, 3, and no, 5 will not come because it is less than. So 1 and 3. Okay. Uh, 1 and 3, this one, this one. Then we E is already given 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1. So I'll just. Uh, Delete the repeated one. So 1, 2 is there. So I'm writing it 1, 2. The next one is 1, 1, 3. So I'm, I'm just writing 1 for 1, 1. So 1, 3. Now, these 1, A, B, and E, they are equal. Why? 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. Now, if I just, uh, you know, rearrange this, it will be 1, 3. So 1, 3, 1, 3, and 1, 3 will be equal. So we have C and D and F. C, D, and F, they are equal. A, B, E, and C, D, F. Next one is show that the set of letters needed to spell cataract and the set of letters needed to spell tract, they are equal. So tract is this one, T, R, A, C, T. I'm writing cataract here, C, A, T, A, R, A, C, T. Now I'm just taking, I'm just uh, cutting out those which are repeated. So C, C, so I'm cutting this one out. A, 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 so I'm cutting these two out. And then T, T, this one out. So now I'm writing it here. So we have T, we have R, we have one A, we have one C, and of course we have uh, T, T more, one more T. So you can just write one more T because we just uh, eliminated one T. Because the question is, we have to show that set of letters needed to spell cataract and the letter, uh, letters needed to spell tract. So these letters are needed and both are exactly same. So they are equal.
So this is all about this exercise. Uh, thank you so much. Take care of yourself.